Welcome again to CryptoJet holders, shillers, and my fellow blockchain degenerates. Today, we're going to be talking about ETC or Ethereum Classic. We're going to cover the actual project, what exactly it is, some interesting NFTs that's, that are actually built on Ethereum Classic, obviously go over some global news in the crypto industry. And lastly, we're going to talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum Classic's charts so we can make a nice little price prediction. So if you do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit this notification bell so you don't miss out any of this daily content that we're actually pulling out, putting out for you and, uh, you know, shedding a light on good projects on the market and helping you make wiser decisions when it comes to investing or researching into cryptocurrencies. So Ethereum Classic basically is a movement from what Ethereum used to be so it's a continuation of the original uh, unaltered history of the original Ethereum chain. And basically their idea is to provide a permissionless way to manage digital assets without the need for any third party, such as financial intermediaries or other institutions. So basically it allows these uncensorable smart contracts to be written, deployed and executed. And the whole idea is to provide a decentralized immutable uh, untampered ledger so since the 2015 ethereum classic genesis block and an unstoppable censorship resistant network for basically uh, you know providing a way for payments and uh, pretty much anything else that you want to do so if you want, actually want to join their um, socials you can find them on discord or on twitter as well i do recommend if you're actually going to invest into it to follow their socials especially the uh, telegram and discord group because uh, all of the most important info will obviously be there so one of the more interesting reads is uh, ETC Punks, which is the first NFT actually released on this. And it is, uh, they're all unique. There's going to be 10,000 of them. And basically the identity of these ETC Punks will remain a mystery until your purchase is completed. So it's a very unique little concept. And I actually like how they look. The marketplace will be open soon, so you can check them out as well. It's very nice to see that NFTs are actually being built on ETC or Ethereum Classic because it is representing growth for the whole network and potentially will reflect the price in the future. Now, looking at some global crypto news, we have altcoins. Uh, we have Agris actually talking about how you need to be a shepherd rather than chasing the herd when it comes to altcoins and crypto gaming is actually taking off right now, which it is. And uh, this, this is actually a nice statement right here because there is sort of flows in the market where First of all, it was decentralized finance, then you have NFTs, then you have gaming, then you have gaming plus NFTs. So all of these projects, uh, NFTs, for example, are very, very little known still. And they're coming out every single day, new ones. And uh, also these gaming decentralized uh, play to earn games, right? Where you can actually just play a game and earn money while you're, while you're offline. And uh, they're all coming out more and more these days, which is very good for the crypto community and it provides a very nice way to actually create uh, capital and uh, invest into them and earn money because in the future in two years from now there's going to be a lot more people who actually know about these nfts and games and uh, obviously there's going to be more money flowing into them so that's why it's important to actually check and uh, stay up to date with all of the best nft projects or gaming projects or generally crypto projects on uh, in the world right so today is actually the 13th anniversary of Bitcoin's white paper being published. It may, might make sense just to get some in case it catches on. Famous words by Satoshi. Just a little bit of news. Uh, American taxpayers are pushing for a fourth stimulus check. So inflation is going to go through the roof, which is a good news for crypto as well. And lastly, we have this idiot posting a chart saying that this is a double bottom formation, whereas this is 100% not a double bottom formation like the whole thing. What we do see is a double bottom formation right here. Uh, it's, it's quite regular. I would call this a double bottom. But basically what we do see on the chart at this point is a resistance right here, but also somewhat of a resistance uh, in this falling uh, triangle sort of pattern. So it's like a wedge. And basically what I would expect Ethereum Classic to do at this point is either break out towards the top side or break out towards the bottom side. If we do break out towards the bottom side, uh, we are pretty... Uh, it's going to be bad, right? It's probably going to be bad. But if we do break out towards the top, we're going to find our first resistance level right here where we may make a, you know, small, small retracement downwards before continuing and breaking through the resistance as the bull run continues and potentially aiming for the previous all time high level. So this would sort of be my 
uh, prediction for Ethereum Classic. Basically, I do expect it to reach its previous all-time high level, such as a lot of the other coins that will do the same in this impending bull run. So lastly, it is a coin with $7 billion of market cap, so it still has a lot of potential to grow. Volume is getting insane in the past 24 hours, so it actually increased by 160%, meaning more money is being, uh, you know, moved through this coin, which is very good for the project. So I think that would be it for today's video. Lastly, I would just like to shed a little light on how Bitcoin is doing. Currently, we're seeing a uh, another bullish correction pattern similar to the last one. So right here, you see a nice bullish flag, which was broken out of, and we're doing the same thing right now, still respecting this upwards trending trend channel. And I do expect a little retracement potentially into FIB levels before continuing upwards for another push uh, towards a new all-time high and the 80 something K mark. So that would be it for today's video. I really hope you guys all enjoyed it. Uh, I wanted to show you actually, yeah, uh, Bitcoin price ready to rally with Bitcoin bulls clear to charge at 85K. Basically, that's what I just explained right now. But that's about it for this video. If you do enjoy it, uh, you know, leave a like subscribe to the channel, comment down below if you want to see something specific in the future and check out our previous videos. So without uh, any more hassle, I'll leave you to it. Hold for dear life and I'll see you all in the next video. Adios.